a while since I've shown you a shopping haul, so I figured I'm going to show you guys what I bought today. Went to three stores, Aldi, 99 cent store, and Kroger. Let me show you what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got um, on my shopping hauls today. Um, this was one of those weeks where I'm having to restock up on some things that are like staples that I always have and um, some of the bigger ticket items that I hate it when I have to buy because they make my grocery budget look terrible. Um, $4.99, 12 double rolls at Aldi. It's called Willow Brand. This stuff is like Charmin quality. It is really good. I'm just saying. 69 cents a roll for paper towels. I got one for home, one for work. I use um, washcloths for most of the things around the house but like for cleaning toilets um, and doing like nasty things I like to have some paper towels around. Um, flour. It's always a good deal over at Aldi's. I think it's like a dollar. You guys have seen this before. This is the um, the brand of sugar that I use. So sugar and oats. These are all, those are all things I can probably do like every other week. The sugar maybe once a month. Um, oats and flour probably every other week. And then let's see what else. This is an every week item. 10 pounds of potatoes. And then carrots. All right, mushrooms. I'm hoping to try to make um, a mushroom stroganoff this week. And I apologize. My girls got a couple toys and they are being very noisy. So I hope you're hearing me okay over them playing. Um, some tomatoes on the vine from Aldi. Some cucumbers go through a lot of cucumbers zucchinis this was only I think this was only 69 cents it might have been 99 cents but two pretty good sized zucchinis and I'll probably probably make myself some chips some zucchini chips <laughs> and then I got five very unripe avocados these suckers are still very green and very hard but I'm hoping to take one at a time and put them with my bananas and get them ripe all right, and then this is a favorite treat of the kids, and I do make homemade applesauce a lot, but I wasn't buying a bag of apples this week, and the girls asked for some applesauce, and what mother would say no to applesauce? <laughs> okay, corn chips. This is something my kids like to snack on. My husband likes to snack on them. I know they're not the best, but look, we're doing a heck of a lot better than we used to. Okay, pretzels is another favorite. We love pretzels with hummus. Um, pretzels just by themselves. Sometimes I'll use pretzels and crunch them up um, when I make like snack bars and we'll do like a sweet and salty snack bar. So pretzels are like every week. Tortilla chips. We got these. This is another thing that my husband really likes. It doesn't have anything too terrible. Um, the oils, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's terrible, but um, it doesn't have any animal products in it. And as a once in a while snack, you know, for anybody who doesn't know, you know, less than a year ago, we were fast food junkies. Um, but like I was saying, we were junk food junkies. We, um, lots of fast food, obviously eating an omnivore diet. My kids were eating. And because we were, you know, since we do have a very tight budget, it was crappy meat. I wasn't even able to buy them the really high quality meats and stuff. So, um. For anybody who's got comments or or whatnot about how crappy I feed my kids, you have no idea how far we've come and how much we've improved. So I would appreciate people taking that into consideration before they leave me comments. Um, onion soup mix. Basically what I do with this is I get the um, dairy-free cream cheese and I mix it together for my husband and he really loves that. Okay, so salsa is another thing my family goes through a lot of. Only um, okay, olives. That's a, This is my two youngest are like, when I pick this up and put it in the buggy, they're like, oh yeah, like it's a treat. Like they love olives. Another thing we go through quite a lot of is peanut butter. And pure maple syrup. Um, grape jelly. I was out of lentils, so I got a pack of lentils. Hummus. Everyone in the family loves hummus. Okay, onion powder. And these are all a dollar for this size at Aldi. I mean, that's 
good size. It's um, 4.75 ounces and they're a dollar. That's why I always try to buy those there. So onion, garlic powder, cumin, and shitty. And then these were in a markdown bin and they looked delicious. So I figured I was definitely going to give those a try. Yeah, those looked very yummy. So I'm trying those. And then I found something there for $1.99 that I'm hoping my daughter will love because one of the things she is missing the most is ranch dressing. And they had three different kinds. They had Asian ginger, they had this one that I got, and then they had um, a roasted red pepper all dairy free I don't know if you can read that tahini goddess dressing so I'm gonna let my daughter try this and see if she likes it um, if not it will get used up I'll use it or my husband will use it or whatever um, but we'll try the other ones because they also looked equally as delicious you can see the spices in there and as far as the allergies, all it has in it soybean oil eh water, soy sauce, cider vinegar, tahini, lemon juice, garlic, sea salt, toasted sesame seeds, xanthan gum, parsley, and green onion. And it's organic for $1.99. All right, so that was Aldi. I'm gonna put this away and we'll move on to the next door. Alright, and then after going to um, Aldi, I went to the 99 cent store, and there we got some veggie chips, and then my kids talked me into this, I didn't see any dairy, and then, let's see, got four bags of their favorite seaweed tacks, totally bummed out, and I need to mention this to you guys too, because um, in one of my previous videos, I talked about the rice rollers that I got at the 99 cent store. That was like a staple item. I always had them. I always got them at the 99 cent store ones, you know. And the brown rice one and the white rice one that I always got before now have gelatin. So, I'm so bummed. So, rice rollers from 99 cent store, no longer vegan. Alright. And then I saw this. I was about to leave. And we had made some breakfast burrito type things this week, and they were super tasty. One day we did it with hominy, and one day we did it, I took potatoes, I diced them really small. It took, took a while, but um, I was at the 99 cent store, and they had hash brown potatoes. And this is a whole pound. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, it's more than a pound. It's 24 ounces. Um, these teeny tiny, and I can feel them in there, they're teeny tiny, just like I cut the potatoes for the burritos, so I figured that would be a big time saver, and for 99 cents for, you know, a pound and a half, what is that, a pound and a half? Of potatoes, pretty good. And then, let's see, I also got there, because I just happened to see it and said, wow, that's a good deal. Some new scarlet. This is, um... Does it say how many ounces it is? Eight ounces of minced garlic. So that's not a bad deal for 99 cents. And then they had their bread cart out. So I got, where can you see? There we go. So I got three of these. And then I bought some junk that I really shouldn't have bought because we are on a side budget, but I got each of the girls a toy. One wanted a tiara. The one wanted a little trumpet, and then I bought them a thing of watercolors because they have no more paint. So I did get a two-pack of the school folders for my little one who will be starting. So now my little one and my big one both have the same folders to take to school. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. The two toys. Oh, yeah, I have a plate hanging on my wall, but the plate is plastic, but it's really pretty, so I hung it on my wall. I don't know if you can see. You see that over there? Um, but it's just a plastic plate. Everybody says, oh, that's so cute. And I'm like, oh, she's a plastic plate. Well, I was at the 99 cent store today, and I saw one that I thought would kind of coordinate with it. So I went ahead and picked it up. And it's a plastic plate, but when I hang it on the wall, nobody's going to know. So I hang that on my wall because I decorate on the cheap. All right, so that was the 99 cent store. 
Let me show you Kroger. Be right back. Okay, and then the last store was Kroger. Um, and some of the bigger ticket items I got there was, yep, she still needs them at night. So, can't wait till that's out of the budget. Alright, and then batteries. Some lovely navels. My favorite fruit this year is oranges. I got two bunches of bananas because we completely ran out of bananas, which is very rare. And I'm down to like my last like four frozen bananas, which is a nightmare. <laughs> so two bunches of bananas. And I'll probably buy a couple more through the week so that I have some to freeze. Um, a red onion. Two pints of blueberries. <laughs> Approximately two pounds of red grapes. Head of iceberg. That I love. And then, let's see here. I got two taco spice. This is the reduced sodium taco spice. And then some yeast for making pizza dough or cinnamon rolls or whatever I want to make. <laughs> and then, let's see. I needed a couple of spices. Um, this is Kroger's brand of like a Mrs. Dash. And then curry powder. I was actually very bummed. Because if I go to the Asian market, I can get like this big like jar of curry powder for like $4. But I had to, this was the cheapest one I could find at Kroger. And um, it was three bucks. So, but I was out of curry powder. So. Not yet. Wait till I'm done. Okay. And then tortillas. These are for me to crisp up in the oven um, for chippies or um and then these guys just regular tortillas um i did while i was at kroger pick up another avocado even though i have five because this one's ripe whereas the other ones will not again the breakfast burrito things that my husband made the hominy so i got another can of hominy and then Major Mart, the 99 cent store, used to carry a jar of green chili sauce that was like super low sodium. I want to say it had like 80 milligrams of sodium or something. It was super, super good. It tasted great, um, but they quit carrying it, I guess, because I haven't seen it back. So I've been trying to find one that's comparable. There's a lion in my kitchen. Hey lion, can you go sit over there? And then when, when I get done with my video, we can play lion, okay? Please? Okay. So I'm trying to find one that's comparable. This one's terrible. It's 310 milligrams for two tablespoons of this, and I'll probably double or triple that. So I don't know for sure if I'm going to use this one, but it's the only one I found, and I'm addicted to green chili potatoes. So. Um, let's see. And then my husband loves rice aroni. So, so far, this is the only rice aroni I found that doesn't have any meat. Uh, not meat. Um, any dairy or like chicken flavor, beef flavor, anything like that. So, this one is just wow. in a while. And he enjoyed it. So, I went ahead and picked up another one of those for him. And then again, something I sent in his lunches and something that we'll snack on. And this is um, when I use the onion, the onion soup mix that I got at Aldi. I'll mix it with tofuti cream cheese and pair it with some Ritz. Super yummy. So, and then I bought, and this will probably last a long, long time. I don't cook with oil very often anymore. We use a teeny drizzle of this in the popcorn popper. Um, but I very rarely use it. I just, I had, I need it on hand. And the small bottle, which is what I wanted to buy, was like $2.49 and this was $1.99. So I went ahead and got the big one, but it should last forever. So, anyways. 
hot dog buns to go with our carrot dogs. And then we got some frozen chips. I got frozen green pepper and onion blend. This stuff is super handy to have on hand for quick cooking. Um, frozen peas and carrots. All right, and then um, those breakfast burrito things that my husband made. This was the sausage he put in there. And this is our Kroger store, um, one of the store brands, the Simple Tree. And then this was a super good deal, $3.99 for the grilled um, chicken, chicken style strip. No egg, anything. It's just, it's basically just like the Gardein ones that come with like the sauce and stuff. But um, it's a whole pound for $3.99. What I like about that is when you buy the Gardein, don't get me wrong, I love Gardein. It was like the first meatless stuff that I tried. Um, so I really love them. But those tend to be $3.99, sometimes even $4, $4.99. And it's 12 ounces. And that includes like the little sauce packs they come with. So I figure 16 ounces, a whole pound for $3.99. And it doesn't come with any sauces or anything, so it's all strips. So this is probably a better value. Haven't tried it though, so we're gonna um, try this and we're gonna see what we think. All right, so I think that's almost everything except for these couple things I got on clearance. Um, this was long grain brown rice on markdown for 39 cents. I'll take it. Thank you. Check me out. <laughs> and then some PB2, which I haven't had in a while because it's usually like $4.99, um, $3.99 on sale. So it's just the plain PB2 on markdown for $2.19. So I went ahead and grabbed it even though money's tight. That's an awesome I deal. Don't on. Yeah. So that's everything I got. Um, no it's not. One more treat for the kids. <laughs> Chocolate almond milk. Okay, so I will show you my receipts next. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. to painting, okay? Just go sit over there. No, it you. All right, and then here's like a junk food bag, kind of. Um, these, usually with my husband, um, some hummus or something, he'll snack on these and my girls Hey, that paint. Okay, hey. Hey, that paint. Yeah, oh, nice. we're gonna show the paint later. I do like. Okay, listen, we're, please. You wanna paint, right? Yeah. Then let me get the video done, okay? <laughs> Love you. Okay, now let mama finish her video. Please. Hey, mommy. Hey, shh. Taco shells for myself, you know? Hello. Hello. Okay, 